All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the San Francisco 49ers. About 26 minutes ago, we learned that the Washington Commanders are dealing superstar defensive end Chase Young to the San Francisco 49ers for a third round pick. Uh, absolutely unreal. First off, the San Francisco 49ers now have freaking Chase Young. And also, it took only a freaking third round pick. Well, I got to tell you real quick, as a former Chicago resident, I don't really know what Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears were doing. But nonetheless, man, the San Francisco 49ers defense, which, by the way, is the best in the National Football League. If you disagree with that, you probably wouldn't disagree. They're at worst a top three defense in the National Football League. Folks, here is their new defensive line. Nick Bosa, Chase Young, Javon Hargrave, Eric Armstead, Drake Jackson, Randy Gregory. I mean, you can't make this in Madden. You could not make this roster in freaking Madden. Uh, it's absolutely maddening. I cannot believe my eyes. Uh, I just got back from lunch. I know the trade deadline at the time of this recording is about an hour away. I knew San Francisco, or I had a feeling San Francisco was going to make some type of move. To be honest with you, I never really thought Chase Young was either going to get traded or especially land with San Francisco. Now, obviously, San Francisco is currently on a three-game losing streak. However, they are still a top five statistical defense in the National Football League, giving up about 17 points per game. Uh, it's absolutely insane. I mean, it really is absolutely insane. We're going to talk about Chase Young coming on over. We're going to talk about San Francisco and what this means as they enter their bye week. Uh, but before we do, guys, if you enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with a couple of 49ers videos every single week. Now, here's what's crazy, man. Chase Young's 24 years old. 24 years old chase young's one of those players where you don't need to give me his statistics on the season you don't need to give me his contract which by the way he is an expiring contract we'll talk about that a little bit later on but chase young is his nickname is the predator for a very specific reason 6'5, 265 pounds uh, if you're familiar with football in any sense even though he's been on washington uh, you know how good this guy is. Now, injuries has been the one kicker for Chase Young. Last season, injured. The year before that, injured. However, in his rookie season, he played 15 games. He had three fumble recoveries. He had four forced fumbles. He had four pass deflections, seven and a half sacks, 44 combined tackles, 12 quarterback hits. He made a Pro Bowl. I mean, the dude's a menace. And especially, you know, defensive ends in general, it's kind of hard to... You know, a lot of people like to just look at the statistics. You got to keep in mind triple team schemes, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Chase Young, at least, I mean, maybe he's not a superstar right now. It looked like he was ascending to a superstar. Keep in mind, the dude's only 24 years old. And if, I mean, San Francisco is literally like one of the perfect places for him. Uh, this season, he has played seven games. All right. Five total sacks, 15 combined tackles, already nine quarterback hits. And he joins the San Francisco 49ers defense that just... I mean, they don't really have any flaws. I mean, they seriously don't have any flaws. And I will say, you know, the sack number could get a little bit higher. But, you know, all those players we just mentioned, Nick Bosa, who everybody knows, uh, Javon Hargrave, Eric Armstead, Drake Jackson, Randy Gregory. I mean, it's loaded. And that's not like their defensive stars. That's their defensive line room. That's literally their defensive line room. So... Chase Young is back to being ascending. Now that he is fully healthy, uh, the dude's going to make an immediate impact. I mean, he's just going to make an immediate impact and to just make it better. Uh, San Francisco, you know, after this past weekend's loss, uh, you know, you're heading into your bye. We just lost 31 to 17 at home against Cincinnati the week before it, you know, lost to Minnesota. Brock Purdy's got all these concussion question marks. Uh, there's injury issues with Trent Williams, Debo Samuel. This was, you know, the bye week, although they've lost three straight games, I think the bye week came at the most perfect time. I know I saw, what was it, George Kittle telling, um, who was it, Joe Burrow maybe about, uh, or Nick Bosa telling Joe Burrow about how he just ruined our bye week. Well, uh, good news, Nick. Check Twitter. I mean, your phone's probably already blowing up, and by the time this video gets out, it'll be several hours after the trade. But you get what I'm saying here. Uh, this changes everything. You know, I was never really concerned with San Francisco. I do think, especially for Brock Purdy, just considering his youth and inexperience, I think having home field advantage in general, especially, is extremely critical, but especially for a young quarterback like Brock Purdy. Uh, 
They're five and three, and they're gonna get healthier and healthier once Trent and Debo come back. And now I have Chase Young joining Nick Bosa, Hargrave, Armstead, et cetera, et cetera, along with Fred Warner and the rest of the clan. Uh, there's many Hall of Famers on this team, especially the defense, CMC offensively, Debo Samuel, George Kittle, Trent Williams. I, I mean, this team is loaded. I made a Seattle Seahawks video yesterday talking about, I mean, they're currently number one in the NFC West, just continue to maintain it. And now I'm thinking to myself, wow, if Brock Purdy is healthy, San Francisco, I mean, they might win out. You know, we saw this last season, San Francisco won out. And unfortunately, you know, the injury to Brock Purdy and every other quarterback they had kind of ended that run. But dude, they're well coached. They have the best roster in the National Football League in general. And now you bring on over Chase Young. I mean, guys, this is a literal difference maker. One one thing I do want to say, you know, even though this was mainly a Chase Young video, uh, that San Francisco game, they still played fine. I know they only had 17 points. I can't reiterate, and Niners fans know exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, 460 total yards of offense without Debo Samuel and Trent Williams. Uh, I mean, that is extremely impressive. Uh, they got to get the turnovers down. They had three turnovers against Cincinnati. You know, you got to get, you got to improve the red zone efficiency. They only went two or four with touchdowns last weekend. Uh, but man, I mean, this, this team is just absolutely insane. So uh, before we get any further into today's video, even though we're six and a half minutes, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button, hit that sub button. So let's look into the future here. And by the way, um, this would complicate things personally. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween to everybody. The trade deadline is not over. <laughs> we still have uh, about an hour until the trade deadline officially ends. But once they come back from their bye week, they got a big time matchup on the road against the Jacksonville Jaguars. You come back home to play at Tampa Bay. Big time matchups the next three weeks at Seattle, at Philadelphia, and then home against Seattle. I mean, huge games. It's a huge Four out of their next five games are absolutely huge, especially because, like I said, you want to be that one seed. You want home field advantage, let alone you do want to win the division, uh, but you especially want to win the conference here. The good news is Chase Young joins this team. They have time to prepare for your next weekend's matchup against Jacksonville. You have time to prepare Chase Young, get him up to speed. You have time to get guys like Brock Purdy, Trent Williams, Debo Samuel, and everybody else healthy. Watch out, NFL, but the NFL is already on high alert because it's the San Francisco 49ers. So uh, that's it for today, man. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Uh, I seriously can't believe my own two eyes. I'm about to go to a Halloween thing here, but um, by the end of the night, I'm going to be looking at this roster even more than I am now and being like, Jesus, dude, how did this happen? This team is loaded. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. But guys, give me a grade on the Chase Young trade down below.